Hi, I'm the Lucky Boto, and today we're talking about Super Fight. But first, <clears throat> I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly! Superflight is an airline simulator released in 2017. It focuses on extreme realism, placing you in the wings of a full-grown emu. Although it has awful, really, really disgustingly bad reviews on Steam, I think that they're wrong. And that's why I'm here. So, in this game, you are the pilot of flight MH370. Your goal is to fly as dangerously as possible, shooting through small tunnels, taking deep dives, scraping walls, and flying into... shoot, I probably can't make that joke. The game is based around racking up as many points as possible through making risky moves and endangering your passengers as much as possible. The game is procedurally generated, so you'll never have the same map twice. Unless, of course, you use a seed, which you would think would produce a plant of some kind, but nope. It's actually like a, like a secret password so you can get your favorite worlds. Amazing! In a similar style to popular games such as Candy Crush and the late Plants vs. Zombies 2, it's about time. The game relies on its sneaky, dirty, Illuminati-style, addictive nature to force you to keep playing while listening to the Sweden song from Minecraft on loop. How disgusting. Many of the maps feature extremely vibrant color schemes. As a colorblind citizen, this is extremely offensive, and my lawyer has already been contacted about my recent assault. It also features tall, beautiful things. As I said, the authorities have been contacted. Sometimes you do get fat mountains, though. Yep, extremely offensive. So, in order to progress through the game, you have two options. Either be really sick and fly through the portals at the bottom of the map, or disappoint your family by falling to the bottom of the map. But you didn't have to do that to disappoint your family. 